Hi, I'm Scott Dalgleish at Phase 4 Engineering today and doing a demonstration of our brand new Breakthrough Micro-T data logger. Let me show the Micro-T. It's a very small data logger. It's 15 millimeters in diameter by 12 millimeters high. Uh, eight of these could would be fit in a, about a square inch. So these are a very, very small device. And so why are we talking about data loggers? Phase 4 Engineering is a wireless sensor company. Well, we also provide data loggers for many of our clients because a wireless sensor can't always solve every problem. A great example of where a data logger might be used is in processing food inside of cans. You want to know the temperature inside the can, but there's no way you can attach a wire to the can as it's being processed and there's no way we can transmit a radio signal outside of the metal can. But what we can do is take the micro T, we can start it and tell it to take a temperature sample, say every five seconds, put it in the can while it's being filled, seal the lid, and run it through the process. And at the end of the process, open up the lid, pull out the data logger, and get an exact time versus temperature profile of the process. Now, there are many, many data loggers out there on the market right now. And a matter of fact, Phase 4 offers lots of different data loggers. But what we kept hearing from clients was there was a problem with existing data loggers being way too big, way too heavy. They weren't wireless, which means you had to uh, put a connector into them, which was a mess. Uh, they couldn't be submersed. They weren't good at high pressure. And they weren't good at high temperature and harsh environments. So for all of those reasons, we put every one of those requirements together and came up with what we feel is the ultimate data logger. And let me show you a little bit more about what that is. So the Micro-T has some amazing features. First of all, it's a high temperature device. It has a temperature range from negative 20 Celsius to 140 degrees Celsius, which covers most cooking temperature ranges. It's very, very small. As we said earlier, 15 millimeters in diameter by 12 millimeters high. And the other very unique feature is because it has a plastic FDA approved food safe enclosure, it has a very low density. It has a density of about 1.3. So in cooking applications or in other applications where you want it to be submersed, it behaves in most cases as part of the liquid it's in. So the, the enclosure and the thermal mass of the device doesn't influence the temperature itself. It also has a very fast response time because of its small size. Um, the other very unique thing is despite its small size and its uh, plastic enclosure, it's rated up to 1,200 PSI. So it can also operate in high pressure environments. Um, and the last thing that we're gonna really focus on in the last part of our video is, this is a highly configurable data logger. We can change the packaging and make it flat. We can add a pressure sensor. We can add two pressure sensors. We can make it smart so that it blinks an LED at a certain event. And we'll talk more about that at the end of the video, but let's do a quick demonstration first to show how easy it is to use. All right, let's do a quick demonstration to show how easy it is to configure, run a data log, and download the data. So I'm gonna take one of my Micro-T data loggers, put it on the reader antenna, and then real simply on the software here, I'm gonna click Find Loggers, and you'll see the number change. Let me see, that must be the same one. Let's try this one. There, the, the serial number changed. It found a tag. Now I'm gonna go over and read Logger Info. Now it's talking to the data logger. And uh, I'm gonna jump right into logging except I want to show some of the logging options. Um, this is where you set the uh, logging interval, and because we're doing a demonstration, I'm going to take one sample every second. 
and then you can have the data logger start at a specific date and time, a delayed start option. You can do it by date and time or a certain amount of time, but for our demonstration, I'm going to do an immediate start. And I'm going to start the data logger. And while now it's starting it, it's writing the configuration data to it, and you can see from the software here that it's now logging. I'm just going to take our data logger and drop it in some cold water, and we'll come back in a second and move it around. Okay, we've let the data logger sit in the cold water for oh, a minute or so, roughly. I'm going to now take it and just show that we can actually see what's going on with the data logger while it's running. I'm going to put it back on the read station and do another uh, read logger info. And you can see so far it's taken 79 out of the total 3,902 possible data samples. 2% of the memory has been used. So let's keep on with our test. I'm going to take the logger, now put it in some hot water, and we'll come back in a second and download the data. All right, our MicroT data logger has been sitting in the warm water for, I don't know, about a minute. And again, one of the really nice things about this logger that a lot of our customers like is it's completely sealed. You can dry it off like this. There's no connector to clean out or no screws. We drop it right onto the reader. And we will do a read logger info. You can see now it has 183 samples sampling at one time per second. And I'm going to tell it to stop logging. And it should give me a status on that. And you can see now it's finished the logging. Now we're going to download the data. So I click the download log button. It brings up a screen where it has the logger name, the ID number, date and time as a default name. We save it. Now there's the data. It's downloaded out of the micro T onto the screen. This is the tabular uh, way of uh, displaying the data. We'll come back to that, but the really nice feature too is it has a, uh, a plotting function where you can see we started at room temperature, we put it into the cold water, then we put it in the hot water, and then we stopped the log. And the graphing function has a really nice uh, zoom in capability. You can zoom into a certain part, you can zoom back out again. Uh, both on the X and Y axis. Now we'll go back to the data log screen, show how easy it is to import the data. There are several ways to do this, but the easiest way is just to click there, do a control C, open up Excel, do a paste, and there's all the data in Excel. So very easy to export into Excel. Real quickly, I want to go back to the main screen of our data logger. Um, you have the time, the current time when it was start, started, when the estimated finish time was, if you'd fill the memory, shows how many of the samples were taken out of the 3,900 available. The other thing is that it shows the battery voltage of the data logger right here. Right now, that's in a green colored text indicating that the battery is fine. That'll turn red if the battery is low, and then the part number and revision of the firmware. So now that we've finished that, we'll talk a little bit about the theory of operation and why the Micro-T is so unique in its features. We're really proud of the Micro-T because it's such a versatile device. This particular form factor and feature feature set with this Micro-T data logger may not be exactly what you want, but let me explain how flexible this architecture is so, so you may see how it may fit your application. We have a, the computer is hooked to an RFID reader as we saw earlier, and we have a wireless connection to the Micro-T. This allows it to be completely sealed and submersible. The RFID interface is connected to an onboard microprocessor that has a clock and 
also talks to memory. The microprocessor can be hooked to one sensor or several sensors and as the microprocessor wakes up, takes a sensor reading and then writes that sensor reading with a timestamp to memory. In addition, our current MicroT does not have this, but has the capability of adding different inputs and outputs, such as a switch or red or green LED. So you could have an application where it's data logging, you press a switch, and you get a red or green light telling you whether a temperature violation has occurred or not. Now the real beauty of this design is once the memory is full of the data we need, it is transferred through the RFID interface back to the computer and there is no battery power used by the RFID interface. And since there's no battery power used to pump all this data back over the air, we have an extremely battery efficient system. And when you combine that with a low power microprocessor and deep sleep modes that are controlled by the clock, we have an incredibly energy efficient an extremely small data logger. The MicroT's unique architecture combining both an RFID interface with a microprocessor gives it a whole new unique and high value set of features. First of all, because it has a wireless interface, it can be sealed. And with it being sealed and having no external connectors, it can also be high pressure, up to 1200 PSI. In addition, because it does not require a battery to power the wireless communication, which is typically very power intensive, we can use a very small battery, a very thin battery, and we can make that small battery last for up to 60 runs, 60 one hour runs at one second sampling intervals. Also, um, with such small components and a small battery, we have a density of this little guy at 1.3 um, versus a 1.0 for water. And in food processing, the, the micro T actually emulates a food particle and the temperature sensor is located very near the center of the device so you get a simulated internal cooking temperature. Also um, with a no battery powered wireless interface if by chance the battery should die you can actually recover the data out of the micro T with a dead battery. In addition to the unique RFID interface, we have an onboard microprocessor which gives us tremendous flexibility and the ability to do custom data loggers. Phase 4 specialty is doing custom data loggers, so if you don't see something on our website that you want, give us a call and we'll be happy to customize it for you. For example, one of the things that we do is we do flexible circuits. So the data logger could be put around some sort of container or could be ultra thin if it needs to go into an oven or some other device where it requires it to be very, very low profile. The microprocessor in itself has unique capabilities in that we can program it to be smart. We can have algorithms in here or conditions or we can have it do some processing of the data on board and automatically light up LEDs if certain conditions are uh, hit. Also, um, with all the different I.O. available, we can add lights, sensors, switches. We can do custom high precision calibration and we can, uh, the low power of the microprocessor allows it to preserve battery life. Thank you for taking time for watching our video demonstration and tutorial on our Micro-T. We have a downloadable brochure on our website that has more information and specifications, but most importantly, the Micro-T is a very flexible architecture. If this particular uh, manifestation of it doesn't meet your needs, just let us know and we'd love to do a custom version of it for you. Thanks again.